Welcome to ATF Hydrographics and another edition of our bi-weekly video series called Just the Tip, where we cut out all the boring stuff and just give you guys at home great tips and tricks for how you can become a better DIY hydro dipper. In today's video, we're going to be talking about hydro dipping water temperature. I'm going to tell you what temperature water I like to dip in, and I'm going to give you guys some suggestions for what temperatures that you can use. Stick around, tell you all about it. Today's video is brought to you in part by One Hit Wonder Paint Company. If you're shopping for your first hydro dipping kit, something that you want to do at home, or you have a kit already and you're just frustrated because it's not working correctly, you need to step up to the paint that we use right here at ATF Hydrographics, which is... OHW. One Hit Wonder, or OHW for short, has an awesome do-it-yourself dip kit that they have put together that you can buy right on their website. Their paints are amazing. We use them all the time. They stick to everything you could think of. Bone, glass, metal, aluminum, plastic. It works great. And the best part is, there's no primer needed, ever. If you'd like to get your hands on one of their dip kits or any of their other really cool products, make sure you stick around all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how you can get your hands on some with a discount. And who doesn't like saving money? That's awesome. So I'm cleaning out the tank today because it's really nasty and it's starting to smell and I don't like my shop to stink. And also I'm filming another video right now that's really, really cool and I want some underwater shots of this one. So definitely got to clean this nasty tank out. But I figured now while I'm doing this is a great time to talk about water temperature in the hydro dipping tank. So let me get this water draining and we'll talk about it. So over the years that I've been hydro dipping professionally, I've experimented with a lot of different water temperatures to find which one works best. The one that I have found that works best for me and gives me the most consistent results is 90 degrees at the surface. Now that's just me and what I like to use. What you may like can be totally different and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no hard and fast like black and white rules for what temperature your water has to be. Now I wouldn't recommend dipping at a temperature higher than about 93, maybe 95 degrees at the most because you can run into issues with the colors in the patterns. Some of them will fade at really high temperatures. But you can definitely dip at temperatures lower than what I like to dip, which again is 90 degrees. But just because you can dip at lower temperatures doesn't mean you should. And let me explain why. So hydro dipping is hard enough as it is. There's so many variables. You got different paints, manufacturers, different kinds of paints, metallics, and different kinds of activators. There's a ton of different film manufacturers and some thick films and some thin films. And there's just so many variables, it's really hard to be consistent. So every opportunity that you can take to stay consistent will help you out in the long run. So simple things that you can control the consistency of will help you out big time when it comes to figuring out what you need to change to get something to work that's not working right for you at the time. And water temperature is one of those really, really easy things to keep consistent. This is one of the filters, by the way. Very nasty. So if you dip at the same temperature every single time, that's one less variable that you've got to worry about and you can work on changing other things so that you can try to figure out what it is that's causing you to have issues. So by all means, if you like to dip at 85 degrees or 79.2 degrees, whatever your preference is, pick a temperature and stick with it. That's one less variable that you've got to worry about in this huge equation of all the things that have to happen right for you to pop out of that water with a perfect dip. But if you want my guidance on the matter, I would say 90 degrees and stick with it because I've tested it, I know that it works, and I have zero issues with that water temperature. And I never have to change it. It's always worked. So if you're at home and you're dipping out of one of the Rubbermaid containers or totes or some little small type of container like that, you've only really got two options for getting hot water. One, you can get hot water from your shower or bath or kitchen faucet, or you, you can hook up a hose directly to your hot water heater, put a bunch of hot water in it, don't fill it up all the way, and then use cold water or ice to chill the water back down to that perfect temperature that you want, whether it be 90, 87, whatever temperature that you want to use. Your other option is to just use whatever water you have available. It's usually going to be room temperature or colder. And then you can boil water on the stove and add hot water to it until you get it up to that temperature that you want it to be. Now, if you have an actual production hydro dipping tank or a big tank like I do that has automatic temperature control in it with heating elements, yours is going to be a lot easier. You just fill it up, set the temperature that you want, and it's done. But not so fast. It's just a little bit more complicated than that. Hold on. So my big old tank is about three, uh, three and a half foot deep. It's, it's pretty deep. 
Now because of the depth, I actually have to set my temperature control for my main heating element a lot higher than what I actually want to dip at. The reason being is because this thing holds so much water, there's actually a temperature gradient from the bottom of the tank to the top of the tank. The bottom of the tank will be much warmer than the top at the surface where I'm actually dipping at. So here on my tank, I've actually got two heating elements. I've got one for the main tank and one for the sump. What I do is on my main tank, I usually run it at about three to five degrees hotter than whatever temperature I needed to be on the surface. So for me, I like to dip at 90 degrees on the surface. So I usually turn my PID controller that controls my heating elements to about 93, 94 degrees. And that keeps the temperature at the surface at a perfect night. Now every tank and every heating element combination is gonna be a little different. So you'll just have to experiment and figure out which one works best for you. And if you have a shallower tank that's not super deep like mine, or it holds a lot less water, like one of those smaller fiberglass tanks that are real popular when you first start out, those don't have as much of a temperature gradient because there's a lot less water in there to have a fluctuation in temperature. And yes, that's a unicorn, in case you were wondering. So like I was saying in the beginning, there's no hard and fast rules for this, guys. If you want to dip at a different temperature, go for it. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings. You do whatever you want to do. Just be consistent with whatever you choose. Now, speaking of consistency, if you want to get some consistency and really high quality in your products that you're using for hydro dipping, I definitely recommend you check out One Hit Wonder Paint Company. And if you want to consistently save some money, all you need to do is go right down here in the description section. I've got a $5 off coupon code that you can use to One Hit Wonder. It's ATF Hydro. You can either use the link down in the description or plug that coupon code in on your order and get $5 off at One Hit Wonder. If you got a question about anything that we talked about today, leave a comment down in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. That's all I've got for this one. Let's roll the bloopers. <laughs> right down here in the discre- in the discre- in the discre- in the discre- <laughs> 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 Question about anything that we talked about today, leave it down at- <laughs> You want to dip it 19 degrees? Dip it 19 degrees. You want to dip it 92.6? Go for it. You want to dip on top of ice cubes? I don't care. Don't bother me. I wouldn't recommend going with a dipping to <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you. <clears throat> of course, I'm going to be talking to you because you that's why you clicked on the video so that I could talk to you. <laughs> Where we cut out all the boring stuff and just give you guys a... Oh man, I was on a roll. I almost had it. <clears throat> Water in possible. And then use cold water to... Hey, I know you're draining, but you're making too much noise right now. I'm going to need you to just calm it down. Just a little bit. I'm trying to film a video. I hit wonder all you need to go is right down here. All you need to go. All you need to go. I just told you to keep the volume down a little bit. <laughs>